what's your thoughts on lease options to buy? To buy a storage facility? A lease option to buy? Sure. I mean, I guess. If the numbers work, we have, we have, I mean, we do owner financing. We have one deal right now in, in Texas where the owner has a, he has a mortgage. Oh, he has a mortgage on that deal, on that facility. And he, and the person that buys it is going to do a wraparound mortgage. It's called a wraparound mortgage. And then they get what's called a contract for deed. All right. That's about as creative as you can get on a deal, right? So I'm all about creative deal structuring. I love it. It's one of my most favorite uh, things to do is figure out how to buy something, especially how to buy it with like no money in the deal. Okay, so, you know, so yeah, there's nothing wrong with let lease to, lease to, lease to buy is just rent to own. That's what's like owner financing. That's really kind of what it is. Okay, are, your, are your owners being contacted all the time by buyers? I'm not sure. Some areas, yes. And some are like tertiary areas are like a no. Like people, like owners are not getting contacted. I actually, nobody, I, we have 12 facilities and nobody contacts us on any of the facilities. Like every once in a while, because I tell my, my office manager, I tell her when she answers the phone, if somebody wants to buy our facility, please let me know, give them my information. Because I want to know what they're going to put and what offer they're going to make. They could be making some crazy, ridiculous offer. I don't want to pass up on that, right? So like I, we always talk. We, I will talk to anybody that wants to give me an offer, you know? And, uh, but like nobody ever calls us. Nobody calls. Like you think people are calling all the time, but like nobody's calling. Only a handful of people are doing this. And actually only a handful of people are doing this consistently. A lot of people call one time and then they never call that facility again. And actually the one that we just closed on, I have literally, I literally every, I've like at least three or four times a year for like three or four years did I call this guy. And then finally the owner wanted to sell. So like, you know, we are calling consistently once a quarter, all of the facilities that we have on, you know, in Georgia. And we're calling and calling and calling. It's really about timing. Honestly, it's really about timing. So you have to be consistent. You don't want to give up, you know, and especially this last year. I mean, the market is just crazy. It's just crazy, you know? So like, if you're going to give up, especially this year, then you gave up on, you gave up on the wrong year because next year, it's going to be good, right? So you want to get that going now so that you're in the flow. You got the momentum, you got the, you know, you've got it, you've got the energy, 